What's up, everybody? My name is Ryan Turford from Game-Moose.com, and today I've got a very interesting and uh, unique to the channel unboxing. Uh, I've never done this before with this product or a product similar to this, uh, so this is actually really new to me. Uh, I'm going to unbox this month's Video Games Monthly for the month of June 2018. Um, Video Games Monthly actually is a subscription service similar to something like Loot Crate or Nerd Block or something like that, where you basically tell them the, the video game retro video game systems you are collecting for. Uh, you say what games you have already so that they don't send you duplicates, and they basically send you anywhere between three to ten games. Usually uh, you can sign up for three, four, five, or ten uh, games to be sent to your door every single month. Uh, so if you want to find out more about Video Games Monthly, go to videogamesmonthly.com um, and check out their stuff. Uh, again, this is my very first box with them. Uh, I've seen some unboxing videos, so I kind of know what to expect with this. Um, but what's kind of cool about the service and one thing I like as opposed to something like uh, Loot Crate or Nerd Block is actually this one, these boxes are customized to your needs. Like my box will be probably different from your box if you receive one of these, which is really cool. One of the things I like about that service. So here we go. I'm gonna do this as blind as humanly possible. We're gonna open up the box here. Again, I haven't actually looked at it. Now, if you're wondering why it was unsealed, it's because it comes in a big mag, but mail bag, they don't actually seal the box, um, but it, it's pretty tightly wrapped in the bag. So first of all, we got, we got bubble wrap on top. Um, I'm definitely feeling some cartridges here. I'm looking for, uh, they usually have some uh, some notes here, but I'll get to those later, I guess. So first thing we got here, NES cartridge. We got Kung Fu, Kung Fu for the NES. Um, I've never actually played Kung Fu. It's one of the original black box title. Uh, in fact, this is a five screw variant that I've got here. Um, it's a game I've heard a lot about. Um, basically, it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up game uh, from back in the day. Uh, it was one of the original uh, launch titles for the NES. Um, and it's based off an old R IRM arcade game, which is very similar based off sort of the Jackie Chan Kung Fu movie. So I'm really excited to check this out. Uh, again, you're probably seeing some of it on the screen as well. Um, I should note as well, I didn't mention it before, but the systems that I uh, set for my preferences are NES, SNES, Genesis, um, GameCube, uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and uh, just original Game Boy. So yeah, We've got Kung Fu here. Now I'm gonna do my best not to knock these over, but the table's pretty far away from me. So let's see what else we got here. So, oh snap, I saw the corner of what that was. I've got very excited Resident Evil for the GameCube. So this is actually the Resident Evil remake. Uh, the very first remake, it actually came to uh, PS4 and Xbox One, uh, I believe a couple years ago. Um, it doesn't have the manual, but it does have both discs, which of course is what you want. Um, and you can check the condition while I show you cool footage of it. So this is basically a remake of the original Resident Evil game uh, from PS1. Uh, they removed a lot of the campiness and sort of replaced it with a really cool uh, horror, horror atmosphere. Um, it's a really awesome game. I used to actually own this copy of the game back in the day because it was actually a GameCube exclusive for the longest time. Um, and then uh, I, I lost it along with the rest of my GameCube collection. So I got it again, Resident Evil, awesome game. Uh, I'm really happy about that one. Um, and I'm really glad to have it back in my collection. So next up, I think we can probably safely remove the bubble wrap now. The, the two games that were there were on top of the bubble wrap, unfortunately. So uh, it was hard to remove the bubble wrap without them. So next game, SNES game, Fatal Fury 2. Fatal Fury 2. This is also a game I've never played. I've seen it in the arcade a million times. Uh, the cartridge is in really good condition. Uh, all the connectors look really clean. Uh, the same thing with Kung Fu. I mean, for the most part, the 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 label has a little bit of wear on it, but of course you're gonna get that with old games. Uh, I'm really excited to play this though. I, I think it looks graphically pretty cool. Uh, and yeah, I really don't know too much about that. So I'm gonna put that there, but you're probably watching me play it right now as I'm sorry, throwing footage over this. All right. So next up, we got a little tchotchke. Now they always throw in uh, a couple little tchotchkes in their boxes, um, just with video games monthly on them. This one is an armband that kind of fits on my arm, but not really, I can fiddle with it later. It says, uh, play the past into the future, which is their uh, motto. And it has video games monthly written on it. And it's all red, pretty cool. Okay, so I've, I'm feeling 
a Game Boy game and a Game Boy Advance game. But before we get to those, finally found the cards. So uh, this is the other tchotchke they've been throwing people's boxes this month. This is a uh, door uh, card where basically it says, do not disturb, I'm playing with my joystick. That's that's something, all right. Every time I, I've, I've seen a couple people unbox this and all I think about is that uh, that episode of uh, undergrads where they're trained for the quake battle and Cal, of course, is just famously ma mastering his joystick in the bathroom. That's totally the thing. Uh, there's also this card as well, which reminds you basically to update your library with the games you receive from this so you don't get duplicates. Uh, it doesn't update automatically, um, but I do really like the fact that you can put in sort of the games you'll have already so you don't really get duplicates, unless of course there's some reason why you do that. Okay, so next up, ooh, we got a Game Boy Color game. This is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Nice. Uh, it's a little bit loose. If I sort of shake it back and forth, it's a little like that. But you get you see that actually with a lot of uh, Game Boy games. Um, I've never actually owned a Game Boy Color growing up. Uh, so it's kind of cool to actually go back and actually have Game Boy Color games now. This is actually my very first Game Boy Color game, which is actually really cool. Um, so Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, of course. Awesome game. I have it on the GameCube, the, the original version. Uh, and I've never played a portable version of Tony Hawk. So uh, if I could be really terrible in the footage that you're seeing right now or not. We'll see. I mean, you're probably seeing it right now. You're already answering that question for me. This probably isn't going to stand up because the top of this cartridge is actually top heavy. So the next up, uh, there's actually, they're running a Facebook contest right now. So if you want to have three free games in your next month box, post the contents of your box on their Facebook page. Okay. And I believe this is the last game because I do sign up for five games and it is a Game Boy Advance game. So we got... Super Mario Advance. All right. So if memory served correctly, I believe, because Super Mario, they, there were a couple of Super Mario Advance games, and they're all basically different uh, sort of re-releases of NES Mario games. I believe this one's Mario 2. I could be mistaken. Uh, again, it's got Birdo on the cover with the door. I'm pretty sure this is Mario 2. You're play watching me play right now. Um, again, my v Game Boy Advance collection is actually very tiny. It's basically Metroid Zero Mission, Gundam B Seed Battle Assault, and a couple other games. So it's actually really cool to start adding to my Game Boy Advance collection. I've wanted to start collecting Game Boy Advance games for a while, and um, this is normally the type of game I wouldn't normally pick up off the shelf. Uh, so it's cool to actually have it in my possession now, because uh, that's one of the things I, that really appeals to me about this box. Is it contains a lot of games that I wouldn't normally go out and get, uh, but it's cool to have some of these. And that's it. Box completely empty. So again, we've got, uh, to recap, we got Super Mario Advance, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 on the Game Boy Color, Kung Fu, Fatal Fury 2, and of course, Resident Evil. Uh, so what do you think about this box? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, I, again, I would love to play some more retro games for you guys. So if you want to see that, let me know as well. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ryan Turford. That's T-U-R-F-O-R-D. You can also find the Game Moose podcast every single Monday at noon Eastern Standard Time on game-moose.com, as well as all of our other awesome content uh, you can check out there. And for everything else retro game related, you're already in the right place, game-moose.com. I'll see you later.